Welcome, dear viewers, to another powerful Bible story. Today, we journey back in time to the kingdom of Persia, where a man's unwavering faith would lead him to face a terrifying challenge. This is the story of Daniel in the lion's den, from Daniel chapter 6. Daniel was a man of great wisdom and faith. He had served under multiple kings and was known for his honesty and dedication to God. King Darius, who ruled Persia, admired Daniel so much that he planned to set him over the entire kingdom. This made the other officials jealous. They sought to find a way to bring Daniel down but they could find no fault in him. The only way they could trap him was through his devotion to God. The officials approached King Darius with a cunning plan. O oh, king, live forever, they said. Issue a decree that anyone who prays to any god or human other than you for the next 30 days shall be thrown into the lion's den. Unaware of their true intentions, King Darius signed the decree, making it unchangeable according to the law of the Medes and Persians. When Daniel heard about the decree, he didn't falter. He went home, opened his windows towards Jerusalem, and prayed to God three times a day, just as he always had. Show visuals of the official spying on Daniel, and then reporting to the king. King Darius was distressed. He valued Daniel and sought to save him, but the law could not be changed. With a heavy heart, he ordered Daniel to be thrown into the lion's den. As Daniel was lowered into the den, King Darius called out to him, May your God, whom you serve continually, rescue you. A stone was rolled over the mouth of the den, and the king sealed it with his own ring. That night, King Darius couldn't eat or sleep. At dawn, he rushed to the den, his voice trembling as he called out, Daniel, servant of the living God, has your God been able to rescue you from the lions? To the king's amazement, Daniel replied, O king, live forever! My God sent his angel, and he shut the mouths of the lions. They have not hurt me, because I was found innocent in his sight. Overjoyed, King Darius ordered Daniel to be lifted out of the den. The men who had falsely accused Daniel were thrown into the lion's den. And before they reached the floor, the lions overpowered them. King Darius then issued a new decree. In every part of my kingdom, people must fear and reverence the God of Daniel. For he is the living God, and he endures forever! His kingdom will not be destroyed. His dominion will never end. And so, Daniel prospered during the reign of Darius and the reign of Cyrus the Persian. This story reminds us that no matter the trials we face, our faith in God can deliver us from the most impossible situations. Thank you for joining us today. Until next time, may your faith be as steadfast as Daniel's.